film in the late 19th century was nothing more than a technological marvel, with moviegoers simply being thrilled by the idea of seeing a motion picture. This newfound form of entertainment thrived for several years until people began to tire of the simplicity of the films and sought to reinvention the wheel, so to speak. So along came a storyteller who would jumpstart the special effect revolution. How? With magic. George Méliès was a stage performer who was among the first to take advantage of the new innovations in filmmaking, like the Latham Loop during the start of the 20th century. His major experimentations were with editing, the joining of the shots to achieve coherence, and can take the form of things such as fades, wipes and dissolves. Méliès, who was born in Paris in 1861, was making films like everyone else until one day when he was filming an accident gave him an idea. He wrote in his autobiography that one day he was filming when his camera got jammed and he was forced to remove the hand crank for a few seconds and then place it back in to continue filming. This led to his shot losing a few seconds, which actually gave the illusion of people disappearing. This sparked the idea to use techniques like this to fool the audience into thinking magic was happening, using cuts to make people or objects disappear. Take a look at this clip, which is from one of Miliers' earliest films, The Vanishing Lady, 1896. As you can see, the cutting from one shot to another created the illusion that the woman had disappeared and Miliers continued to use this in many of his films. He wanted to um, develop the craft much more, so he bought himself his, uh, his own theatre. And I think at the end of the 19th century, he, I think he knew the Lumiere brothers, so there's some kind of tenuous connection between them. And so he was given chance to see them use the cinematograph and tried to buy it and they said they refused. But he was so fascinated by, by having seen what they'd recorded um, that he became interested in using cinema for his own illusions and experimenting with that. Another technique that he later coined was the double exposure. He would film a scene with one half of the frame painted black and then rewind the film, film the scene again with the other half painted black and when placing these shots together it gave the illusion of one shot in which two of the same objects or people can be present simultaneously, creating a split screen of sorts. This can be rather difficult to do, however, and a quote from the man himself confirms this. In 1907, he said, Every second, the actor playing different scenes ten times has to remember while the film is rolling exactly what he did at the same point in the preceding scenes and the exact place where he was on the stage. Elements of Miliers' films can still be seen today and influence many modern directors, particularly Martin Scorsese, who created the film Hugo in 2011 as a tribute to his work. George Méliès, pioneer of modern cinema and the use of special effects.